So you went out and bought yourself a Canon M6, M10, or M3, and you decided it was going to be plug and play. You can just go live stream and be done with it. And then you come to find out you got all these weird overlays going on. Well, unfortunately, Canon has decided to limit your camera. On the upside, there's a fix. And if you want to find out more how to fix this issue, keep watching this video. So Canon has limited your camera and I had the fix for it. It took me a long time to research this stuff. Uh, the Canon line of mirrorless cameras are very budget friendly. So as a live streaming device, this is 100% great. But because of the issue and the overlays and the LCD shut off issues, a lot of you guys are gonna struggle to even use it as a live streaming device. I've seen tutorials that mention this feature to be able to live stream with it, but the clean HDMI is such a bummer. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, go into my desktop. I'm gonna load up a fresh install of this firmware mod that you're gonna have to perform yourself. And I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to get this up and running, especially if you have an EOS M3. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do before you do anything else is to turn on the camera. Your camera should turn on as normal. Go into the menu. Go all the way until you find format. Click low level format. Uh, how do I do that? Um, press the info button. After you do that, click OK. Let it low level format. All right. Once that's done, turn off your camera. Take the SD card out. Load it up into your computer. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is plug in your SD card. Go into your folders, find your SD card. It should be labeled in a letter or a name called EOS Digital. Ensure there's nothing on the folder. Click Properties, ensure that it's FAT32. It has to be FAT32. All right, so once that's done, go in to the link I add in the description. The first file you're going to want to download is called the firmware files. That should be in my downloads. So you'll be have to download it yourself. It should be a zip file. Click on that. Go ahead and take everything in this file. Click extract to a specific folder. Find that folder I mentioned. Click OK. Yes to all. And it should just download. Everything should just Extract to that folder. As you can see, everything's extracted. Take everything in that folder, click copy, and click paste into the SD card that you have formatted freshly. Paste. All right, you should see right here that everything is installed. You should verify. There should be a bunch of random files that you probably don't even know what it is. I don't even know what it is, but it works. All right, so after that's done, Okay, so once you have that installed, go ahead and go into the files I've mentioned before, EOS card. That's the second file that you're going to want to download. Open it, run it, ensure that your SD card is showing up correctly. Mine is, refresh it just in case. Click here, CHDK. Once that's done, you will see boot disk. It should say down here on the content, boot disk OK, CHDK, OK. All right, go ahead and click save. It should say write successful. All right, so after that's done, go ahead and take out your SD card and let's get back into the camera and let's see how to set it up so you have clean HDMI and clean overlays. Now that you have the SD card prepared, you're gonna to wanna to take your SD card here. Ensure that if it's a lockable SD card that you lock it out. There should be a little slider on the side. You wanna keep that in the locked position. All right, so what you do is you put the SD card in your camera. All right. 
turn on your camera and you will see a menu pop up do not worry this is completely normal okay so you can see all these little overlays and stuff you want to get rid of that right so click the play button you should see here should say no image it's normal click at the very top of your camera there should be a button here depending on your model mine is MFN click that you should see a little thing called default script this is okay and then that'll pop up that's fine you don't want this menu though you want to click menu down here there should be a button at the very bottom on the right it should say menu click that all right, you got all these little options. First thing we we'll wanna do is disable the overlays that Canon has enforced upon you. Go all the way down till you see clear Canon overlays. It should say never. My camera I'm using is a little exposed. It should say never. Do not worry about that. Never does not mean never. You wanna go here, record. That's good. Now go back. The next thing we're, we're going to want to do is go all the way down to CHDK settings. You'll see OSD settings. You want to also, along with the overlays, disable the firmware mod overlays. So you'll see this thing right here, show OSD. Click your button to disable it. All right, now you want to go back press menu and then press menu again and press CHDK settings again now we want to disable the LCD we don't want to disable the LCD we want to make it where the LCD never turns off you'll see disable LCD off it'll say alt that means it's enabled go right until you see always now disable LCD will always be off now you can always come back into the menu and re-enable it if you need to. Click back, click the menu button, and press MFN at the top, and it should disappear. Now click the shutter button at the very top of your camera. And you should see in real time the camera has no overlays going on. And there you have it. That's exactly how you get clean HDMI. One of the issues I have discovered from this mod though, is being able to change the camera settings, especially when you're live streaming. All you have to do is click info. Should see that, click info again. And one more time. And there you go, you can adjust it this way. You will not, you'll be able to see this menu when you're live streaming. And just, you know, have that visual indicator and then click the shutter button and it'll go right back that's a little workaround and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, it helped me I live stream pretty much every night and this is a really good camera it's a Canon EOS M3